Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 19 of Ebrius SMP. Uh, in this episode, I want to go build the gold farm above the nether hub. But before we do that, uh, I want to explain a few things that I have planned here. Uh, I started digging out a little bit of an area for a villager trading hall, and I've been designing in creative, and I don't have a set way I want to set up the villagers. I want to use uh, DocM77 showed a villager selector system of sorts, and I want to use that to unlock villagers and see what traits they have and then I want to use just like a fixed location for each villager and transport them in there. I just am have been messing around with what I want to put here and how is how that is going to affect a villager trading call if I put it here. So yeah, um, I don't know yet. <laughs> I've been I've been testing in creative and I'll see. I have been working on a smelter. I've been working on this, but for today we're going to go do the gold farm. I have a schematic for it. I'm going to go gather a bunch of the resources that we need and I'm going to meet you above the Nether hub. Alrighty, I'm top on, on top of the Nether here. Uh, I didn't make a hole through the bedrock yet. I think we're going to do that later in the video cuz I need to make a minecart elevator as well. But I just asked every anybody if or everybody that's online, which is those three, uh, if they want to help, and if they will, uh, it's gonna just gonna make this uh, go a bit faster. But I'm gonna start laying out the uh, uh, the blocks here for the middle part, and I will be back when we're uh, when I have a bit more done. Alrighty, uh, Sadid came here to help me. Uh, I have Schematica currently open on that layer, which we can close. Uh, but he is finishing that. Uh, the anvil towers and the trapdoors and I put in 24 minecarts in each spot There's a minecart hopper and everything is facing the right way. So that is all perfectly fine uh, Next order of business is to start building in the platform and I'm gonna do a time-lapse. So yeah, Let's go
I don't know if you noticed in the time lapse that I messed up. I uh, there's some there's still some stuff wrong right over there. Uh, I need to take these two out and bring them off like so. Um, so yeah, I messed up. I forgot to rotate the schematic once when I relogged when I died in the middle because I accidentally right clicked into the minecarts and got entity crammed and then I couldn't ender pearl out because I clicked on the trapdoor and it was magical. Uh, but yeah, uh, I need, I'm need. i glad that we didn't fill in all of the floors because that would have been more of a pain. But it's not necessarily that bad because I can show you. I'll load the time, uh, the schematic up. Like, I don't have to fix that much. I have to add a little bit on one side and take a bit away on the other. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna go start fixing it and I'll bring you back once I have a few things fixed. So yeah. All right, the glass up top is now all fixed and in the correct spot. So now I have to do is tear a little bit of the glass out and then move the nether brick slabs. And I'm going to fix the bottom floor, I think, because it's not going to take that much. Um, or I might start working on the top one. I haven't decided yet. But I'll be back once I have a bit more progress done. Okay, floor numero uno is now done. Uh, it is fixed and all good and all running. Uh, what I want to mention though is this farm it was designed by Il Mango. He has actually two designs for another gold farm, which is one is the simple one, which is this, because it takes very low effort to build. It's super simple and it produces, I think, 1,100. No, 1,000. 117,000 XP per hour. Uh, which the player can, I think, pick up 150,000 XP per hour. Something like that. So he has one that produces max XP even more than that, which, uh, but yeah, but the other one uses a lot more drop shoots and a lot more redstone. This one's redstoneless. It's gonna be the least laggy in my opinion. Uh, and people with low, like uh, low end computers could use it. The only thing that is quote unquote laggy about this farm is the amount of pigment that's in here because they're entities and the 20, uh, that would be 50, like, 100 entities that we have over by with the minecarts uh, but yeah other than that the redstone's gonna be just uh, a sorting system for the gold and the uh, the rotten flesh I think we can I th we can keep rotten flesh like to a certain point I'll just dedicate like a couple chests to it but mostly we're gonna be after gold and gold ingots um, at some point, I might even, we could bring a villager up here if you would want to do trading, but I don't know where you would put him, because there's not really that much space uh, to put him. But yeah, uh, let me get on with fixing the next floor, and I'll show you it when it's done. All right, all of the floors are now fully fixed and should be functional. Uh, I uh, am going to say that this is going to be it for today's episode because I'm running out of time. It's during the end of the day and I have to export the video as well. But in the next episode, we're going to install the sorting system underneath here. I haven't decided yet if I want to use droppers to drop things down all the way to the bedrock level and have you collect items there or have uh, an item collection here and then you just go down uh, via a drop shoot or a minecart or something or another. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work that in creative and see how I'm gonna do it and so forth. Uh, and then we also have to put in, uh, there's a couple blocks that go on uh, each corner and all around the farm we need iron golems and some pigmen with uh, name tags that are gonna be the alarm pigmen which are gonna, um, re-aggro the pigment every time uh, new sp new guys spawn so they don't lose aggro um, which is going to be cool so we're going to do that next episode but with that being said I want to thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode if you did hit that like button and consider subscribing to see more videos I will see you in the next one bye bye when it went down